Okay. Here we are, uh, playing more, more Mega Man Aker. Um, today we will be playing through Magma Hideout, created by Sen with 18 plays and a score of positive 7. Okie dokie. Let me just see. Yeah. Everything seems to be in order and yeah, wow, we, have, we only have a, a fire... Fire attributed weapons, I guess. Oops. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It's kind of strange. You can actually fall down there and lock yourself. Huh. So, yeah, maybe. Sell the TNT box back there. Maybe this will be like a stage that. Yeah. <laughs> Probably that will revolve around the yeah the TNT boxes here or whatever they are called. Yeah, like weirdly enough <laughs> enough, um, you don't take damage by standing in the explosion radius there. Which uh, yeah, I don't know. I I've, I find that to be a little bit odd, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's just how it works. Hmm. So let's see. Can we actually? Nope. Cannot quite ignite these. We probably need one of those with the... One of those with the... What's it called? The fuse. <laughs> probably need a fuse to fire at. Probably. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh! I was... I was... I was oh wow. Uh, that confused me. I, I wasn't sure how that was ignited, but yeah, apparently... You know, the, the fire traps there from Mega Man 1 also ignite the fuses there. Hmm. And I wonder if, <laughs> if this is supposed to be lava, you know, in the background instead of like... Obviously this is Shadow Man's... And I died. <laughs> um, very delayed reaction there by me. Um, <laughs> the backgrounds from Shadow Man stage there from Mega Man 3, you know... They probably are used here in this stage to mimic lava pouring out of the pipes there in the background. If I had to guess. Alright. Now this time, let's deal with this guy properly. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, this level. Oh, jeez. These level turning guys aren't all that big. <clears throat> they take four hits, I believe. <laughs> wow, dude, what are you doing? Ugh. What was I about to say there? Um, yeah, they aren't all that threatening. They take four hits. Um, it feels like they just fire at random, you know, like in whatever direction they feel like. They don't really, I don't know, it doesn't really feel like they go for you. Like, you just have to. Be kind of careful, like, you cannot, <laughs> you know, with all that said, you can't slack, slack off around them, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, you, you, dude, that was close. And maybe I should try and use <clears throat> my fire weapons here a little bit more. Yeah, what the hell? The magma pool is actually, or the fire totem guy is actually weak against fire. <laughs> what? I did not expect that. Did not expect that whatsoever. Oh no, he respawned. Oh my goodness. What? I even got clipped by the lava! What the hell? So far, all the deaths that I've taken here just feels like it's been me playing very sloppily. <laughs> um, <laughs> very sloppily indeed. Uh, okay, well, I guess... There is really no point in cutting this out. The backtrack is so freaking short anyway. Uh, okay, now, please. Can we do this seriously? Like, without failing so hardly. That would be very nice. Very nice indeed. There we go. 
What, dude? The firestorm is actually really freaking good. I mean, I always knew it was a decent weapon, but like, <laughs> I did not really think it was this beastly. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Oh, is this the boss already? No, this has to be a mid boss. This has to be a mid boss. Yeah. <laughs> This has to be a mid. This has to. This have to be a mid boss. So, it's slightly harder than a regular Crashman fight here. I mean, besides the fact that it takes twice the damage. Um, I wonder. Oh, <laughs> I was kind of hoping he would be taking out in one hit there, but no such luck. But maybe this weapon. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. So now we know how to deal with the, those guys with the hearts there. Oh, yeah. Just make them on to whatever they are called. I, I never can never recall their name. <laughs> um, yeah, they are so sturdy. So freaking sturdy. And deal 4 damage, I think, so yeah. On the contrary to these guys, they are quite deadly. But then again, if these guys are placed directly above you, they definitely can it can <laughs> pose to be a problem, that's for damn sure. Wow, okay. I didn't even see what happened down here with the TNT box, I was just busy dodging all the way over there by the freaking ladder. <laughs> I kinda want this, so I'll grab it, and can we... Nope, can't go over there. Oh, yet another boss. Alright. Oh, man, this is scary. Oh, no, he got me. Oh, we can actually... We have more stage here. What the heck? <laughs> really neat boss room. I wonder if... I, well, uh, I don't know. You can. You probably can't hurt him with the boxes, actually. But at the very least, you can make the boss room slightly larger, I guess. Yeah, you can give yourself uh, more space. That's the idea there. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, let's see <laughs> how effective can this be. Okay. Man, this weapon is a little bit awkward to use. But you can charge it here, and when you do, yeah, it gets quite a bit stronger. It's like, it's like slightly more fun to use than the, you know, the Mega Man 2, the atomic fire. It's slightly more fun to use than that, you know. There we go. Oh my goodness, I'm almost dead. I do have a couple of E-Tanks, but yeah, no, I won't be out. I wanted to rely on them. Oh my god, they almost killed me. <laughs> Maybe I should have used the E-Tank, but, well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't have had to, but yeah, that was a very dicey decision on my part. And what? I'm not paying attention today. What am I doing? Standing directly beneath the fire match shoot there, whatever it's called. I almost <laughs> got hit by the fire trap, and then I got hit by the magma trap instead, which is many times worse. So yeah, let's just cut back. <laughs> See you in a second. Alright, back in here again. I used my shield quite skillfully this time. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I... Or as you... Oh, okay. Here we are again. Now, can we do this a little bit better? Or a lot better even? That would be very nice. Okay. Wow. Oh yeah. No. Oh. Oh, I thought. Why didn't the magma at the bottom there shoot me? Maybe he couldn't shoot me because he was off screen or something there. I thought for sure I would die there. <laughs> for sure. Hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we are in 
uh, in the magma hideout for real here it seems like but uh, <laughs> all the way down in the cave in the fiery caves hmm yeah the stage is quite generous with hiccups here oh bah. that was that was bad hmm. that's pretty interesting I wasn't even aware that we had a R symbol I wonder what what is the R for? <laughs> Dr. O'Reilly. <laughs> okay, now that's... <laughs> uh, oh, yo, yo. Uh, oh, frick, frack. Hmm. Interesting. So we have some health there, but try and do it without the uh, health pickups. This guy isn't all that bad either way. I can't quite recall his name, but yeah. Like with a proto shield, we can even deflect his bullets. Um, so we shouldn't have any real issues with this guy. Look at this! Two damage! Very nice! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I should have, shouldn't have spoken that soon. I really thought I had. Oh yeah, now we're over here. You know what, let's bait him up here, that would be- No, actually that would not be good. Oh, frick. Yeah, we can't fight here when the lava things are falling here. And dang it, the freaking bird is coming in here as well. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's not fight over there. <laughs> what the hell? The boss room is actually pretty hard there. A lot of things are coming your way. Well. Let's just, let's just remain here then. <laughs> this is where I had the most success. Dang it, I tried to do like that. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? We're taking the help. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez, there are so much going on in here. Like, there is... <laughs> that was, that was a bad way to die. Oh, that's right. This thing here shields me from the bird. Look at that. Yeah, if you can just stand by it. Right here. Should be safe. Very nice. Okay. So you have a very nice... Very <laughs> very nice way of guarding ourselves over here. So, well, whatever. <laughs> I didn't necessarily want any energy pickups or health, but... Yeah. I got one there either way. Okay, this time. Surely we have it. Or maybe not. Oh no, maybe not. No! Oh! oh I, I really wanted to... Oh, I really wanted to play that nicely there, but yeah. Okay, now don't stand there. That's... A bad idea. Oh, what did I just say? Don't stand there. It's a bad idea, and then I do it again. And here I am yet again. <laughs> I just come back for more. Why the hell not? Come back for more. Yeah. I, I literally just I am toying, toying with my life, walking over those <laughs> flame spewing little. Squares down there, freaking, <laughs> freaking flame spewing squares. Hmm. Okay, just fire. Let go of the bottom. Get to save. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh. Yeah, this isn't too great here. Or oh, wait, maybe. Just be ready for the flame guys here now, they're coming any, yeah. Any second now. No, yo, yo, that was a close call. Yeah, one damage. Nice. Nice. 
Surely we can't mess this up. Surely. <laughs> you never know with me, though. Whew, okay, so... Pretty hard boss fight. <laughs> pretty darn hard. <laughs> a little bit hectic and a little bit clustered, but... Yeah, definitely is possible, and especially if you play better than I did there. I did not play very well at all. And yeah, pretty fun stage overall, so... Um, <laughs> uh, very forgiving stage, lots of health pickups, energy pickups, and you know, close knit checkpoints, which made it very easy. With that said, you know, we also had those instant death magma beams, you know, to parkour around, so yeah, <laughs> that was probably a nice thing to have a few checkpoints too many than rather a few checkpoints too few. That would just have been, that would have been, yeah, that would have been frustrating. <laughs> but yeah, pretty nice stage all around. Um, Nicely done, so yeah, I will just leave it at that, thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.